this is the sixth lecture of module 4 that is speed control of induction motors so far we were discussing the different speed control methods uh, and next we will discuss the uh, v by f control that is variable voltage variable frequency control of a three phase induction motors so stator voltage and frequency control that is v by f control so as we discussed in the previous lecture that is frequency control of induction motors uh, we concluded that for operations below base speed we have to control the voltage along with frequency that is the ratio v by f should be maintained constant so as to keep the air gap flux constant and for above base speed operations we have to keep voltage as constant at its rated value and we can vary the frequency um, according to our desired speed so this is stated here the variable frequency control of induction motor below rated frequency is carried out at rated air gap flux by varying terminal voltage with frequency so as to maintain the v by f ratio constant at the rated value now let's see what are the effects of uh, stator voltage and frequency control that is v by f control on the performance of an induction motor this is the equation for the maximum torque developed by an induction motor that we have discussed in the uh, second lecture uh, then the synchronous speed that is omega ms of an induction motor is given by 4 pi f by p radians per second here uh, in this equation f is the only variable because p 4 and pi are constants if you substitute for omega ms in this equation the terms 3 2 uh, 4 pi and p all these are constants so uh, the effective value of these constants uh, let it be equal to capital K a constant K then the remaining terms that is in denominator there will be uh, frequency F and in numerator there is V that is voltage these two are the uh, variable quantities all the other terms are constants resistance uh, reactants all these are constants uh, for a particular machine so uh, here reactance varies with frequency that we have to consider resistance is a constant but reactance varies with frequency now we are going to uh, divide the numerator as well as denominator by the term f square frequency square so here uh, we have the term uh, constant k and we have divided the numerator by f square so v by f square is obtained and in the denominator we have divided uh, by f square so we will get the equation like this so uh, here we can see that uh, in the numerator there is a term v by f so in this equation uh, Let's consider the case when the frequency is not very low. That is, uh, at all the frequencies except for low frequencies, the term Rs by F, that is the square root of this term. Rs by F, the O square is the first term in this bra bracket, inside the bracket. So, the term Rs by F will be very, very less than square root of this term, that is, 2 pi into ls plus lr dash okay so uh, we have to neglect the term rs by f since it is very very less than the other term for frequencies which, which are not very low so by neglecting the term rs by f that is stator resistance divided by f we will get the equation like this p max is equal to plus or minus this this plus sign indicates for motoring mode and minus sign indicates for braking. So that means second part. Uh, so we can see that 
in the equation for the maximum torque developed uh, the terms k 2 pi ls lr all these terms are constants except the terms v by f so if you can maintain the ratio v by f as constant then the maximum torque developed will be maintained constant that means if you are applying v by f control for the speed control of induction motors then the maximum torque developed will be constant with constant v by f ratio the motor develops a constant maximum torque except for low speeds or low frequencies normally the machines will be will not be operating at very low very low frequencies then thus the mode uh, motor operates in uh, constant torque mode now let's see what happens when the voltage as well as frequency reaches their uh, rated value during speed control when the voltage reaches reaches the rated value at base speed it cannot be increased with frequency this is because the machine uh, should not be operated above its uh, rated voltage um, otherwise the uh, insulation prop, uh, machine insulation may get damaged so we, we we can't increase the voltage beyond that value so we have to maintain the voltage constant at its rated value so above base speed the frequency is varied but the voltage is kept constant so frequency is varied in order to control the speed but the voltage is maintained constant so what happens when the voltage is kept constant and frequency is varied then let's again consider the same equation for t max in this equation we already concluded that the v by f ratio should be maintained constant in order to keep t max constant but above base speed operations we have to maintain v as constant and f is to be varied so if you are keeping v as constant then if you are increasing the frequency then the maximum torque will decrease so uh, we have the final uh, conclusion is that with v maintain constant maximum torque decreases with increase in frequency that means uh, with increase in speed uh, now these are the graphical representation of the facts that we have discussed yet first figure a is the vf relation for uh, v by f controlled induction motor drive here uh, the variation of voltage with frequency is shown so as we discussed from uh, zero speed to base speed that is up to base frequency base frequency means uh, rated frequency up to base frequency the voltage is also varied along with frequency so the characteristics will be like this voltage is varied along with frequency up to base frequency when it reaches base frequency the voltage will also reach the rated voltage rated voltage of the motor so at above for for operations beyond rated frequency that is base frequency it's not possible to increase the voltage along with that so we will maintain the voltage at a rated value that is voltage is kept constant then also we are increasing the frequency in order to increase the speed of the machine so this is the vf relation now let's see the speed torque characteristics this will give you the uh, more clear picture of the performance of an induction motor which is uh, controlled using v by f control here we can see from zero speed to base speed that is uh, for base frequency the omega ms is the synchronous speed rated value of synchronous speed so the synchronous speed at which we are applying rated frequency so from uh, zero frequency to base frequency operation 
as we discussed the maximum torque developed will be constant since the v by f ratio is kept constant that is up to this this region is shown here here t max is kept constant there is no change in the maximum torque developed for all these characteristics 1 2 3 4 and 5 all the five characteristics shown in figure the maximum torque developed is constant then let's see what happens if you are increasing the frequency above rated value if you are increasing the frequency above rated value the maximum torque developed has decreased again decreased again decreased it go, goes on decreasing as you increase the frequency f is increased the maximum torque developed decreases this is the uh, basic concept of a v by f controlled induction motor drive now uh, what let's see what are the uh, advantages or what are the uh, features that a v by f controlled induction motor drive is having the variable frequency control of induction motor drive provides good running and transient performance due to the following features which are the features the speed control and braking operation are available from zero speed to above base speed that is from zero speed to base speed then base speed to above base speed all these operations are possible with v by f control then during transients that is during starting braking and speed reversal etc the operation can be carried out at the maximum torque with reduced current giving good dynamic response um we will discuss why the speed the current is less we I, i will discuss it later next point is the copper losses are low and efficiency and power factor are high as the operation is restricted between the synchronous speed and the maximum torque point at all frequencies so this is the reason why the current is less for operation between synchronous speed and the maximum torque point if the machine is operated between these two points then it will be drawing less amount of current if you are operating the machine beyond maximum torque that is breakdown torque point the current will be high next the drop in speed from no load to full load is small that is the uh, slope of the uh, top speed carrier uh, is very small then if the most um, important point is it can be implemented in spiral cage induction motors S since spiral cage induction motors are having so many other advantages a speed control method that can be implemented in spiral cage induction motor is very much useful in industries so let's see what are the advantages of spiral cage induction motors very cheap drug reliable and long lasting it needs uh, less maintenance Uh, so it can be operated in uh, explosive and contaminated environment and it is it can be designed for high speed voltage and power ratings it has lower inertia volume and weight but the v by f control induction motor drive is very much costlier as compared to other induction motor drives so for normal um, or if if you if you are if you prefer a low cost drive then we can't go for v by f control but they are uh, they, they find applications in various industries such as um, underground and underwater installations and the applications involving uh, explosive and contaminated environments such as mines and chemical industries and other applications are traction steel mills pumps fans blowers etc etc these are the applications in which 
V by F control induction motors are used. Next, we will discuss the simplified block diagram of variable frequency controlled induction motor drive. Here, the drive system feeds a three phase induction motor, and the power electronic converter which is used to feed the induction motor is a variable frequency voltage source. It may be a voltage source inverter or a cyclo converter and it is fed from an external power supply. So this is the control circuitry which is used to control the power electronic converter or power modulator. Now uh, let's see what is FR. FR is the reference frequency which gives the uh, Decide speed command that is uh, this will indicate the speed at which the machine is uh, supposed to be operated so uh, we, we have to vary the value of fr in order to vary the value uh, or control the speed of the motor and we have a delay circuit here and the output of the delay circuit is f star why we are inserting a delay circuit this is because even though we are varying the value of FR uh, by a large amount due to the presence of delay circuit the output that is F star will be uh, changing very slowly so that the motor will be able to track the changes in the frequency that is F star otherwise the machine will not be able to track the changes if you are giving FR directly it is not possible to track the changes in the frequency now why uh, we have inserted the flux control block here here we are giving the f star the value of frequency command to the flux control block and flux control block will produce the corresponding voltage command that is v star so as to maintain the v by f ratio constant up to base speed and uh, above, for above base speed operations the voltage should be maintained constant so uh, in order to follow this rule the flux control block will pro produce a, a voltage command that is v star and it is also given to the uh, voltage source con uh, vsi voltage source inverter or cyclo converter whichever is used here so the voltage command will control the output voltage of the uh, power source and f star or frequency command will control the frequency of the uh, output voltage so the induction the speed of the induction motor will be controlled according to the v by f control using this uh, system next we will discuss the uh, torque and power limitations and modes of operations of V by F control. Here we are going to consider a particular operating condition that is uh, that top speed KR is familiar to us. Here the dark line or dark dots indicate the um, operation of the drive for a given value of stator current and for different values of frequencies so uh, that in, that means for all these dots these are operating points at which the stator current will be the same for all these points the stator current will be the same but frequencies are varied for different values of frequencies the performance will be like this so from zero speed to base speed you can see all these points at, at all these points the torque will be the same so these are the constant torque locus similarly for above base speed operations from here to here the torque goes on decreasing but you can say that the power remains the same so these are the constant power locus Now uh, let's see what uh, how uh, the, the terms torque, power, 
uh, stator current and slip speed uh, vary with the variation of supply frequency. So in x-axis we have plotted the per unit frequency k. That means if k equal to 1 that means f is equal to base frequency or rate of frequency. And if k is equal to 2 that means supply frequency is equal to twice the rate of frequency. So uh, this region that is from k equal to 0 to 1 that means variation of frequency from f is equal to 0 to f equal to base frequency, rate of frequency. So up to rate of frequency we can see that we have, we will be maintaining V by F ratio constant. So the torque will remain constant. So constant torque region or constant torque mode of operation. And in this region the power will be increasing. Power is not constant in this region. And we can say current is almost constant. Then after uh, base frequency the voltage is kept constant and frequency is increased so the torque capability decreases as we have discussed earlier torque capability decreases and that but the, uh, during that region uh, during that um, modes of mode of operation the power will remain constant so it is known as constant power mode up to twice the base speed then beyond base speed beyond twice the base speed the power will be decreasing and torque is also decreasing current is also decreasing and slip speed is a parameter or, or a term that is defined as the difference in speed of rotating magnetic field and the rotor speed difference in the speed of the rotating magnetic field and the rotor speed that is equal to omega sl so this curve or curve indicates the variation of slip speed along with the variation of frequency thank you